Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Spiky Balmy Army TV and this is our first one, a lot been going on then at Maidstone past three weeks and let's catch up on them we've got all the pre-season schedule to catch up with players have departed and we know some clubs have gone to um, and also three new signings have come in since we were last on so plenty to get into so let's first of all get into pre-season fixture schedule then for Maidstone United Saturday the 8th of July then at home to Sheppey United the Yites Tuesday 11th of July then home to Chatham Town Saturday the 15th of July then our first away game away at Leatherhead Tuesday the 18th of July then Mason also away then National League side Bromley then we go down to Sussex, Saturday the 22nd of July, away at Horsham. And then Saturday the 29th of July, we're at home to Lewis. Players then we know that have left Maidstone, Rory Deacon, and then he moves on and leaves the Stones. Juan Luque then we know our Spaniard player. He was not wanted at the end of last season. To George Ellicope, he wasn't in his plans for this coming season. And he's moved on to uh, one of our rivals, National League South Worthing. Whilst Reagan Booty then stays in the National League, departs Maidstone and heads off to Gateshead Aid. So then three new signings then coming into Maidstone United to help rebuild for the upcoming 23-24 season for Maidstone in National League South. So the first of them signings then Lamar Reynolds. He was 15 years old and his first appearance was at Thurrock. Then he moved on to Averley and Gray's Athletic. And then at 20 years old, he was at Brentwood Town. Then he moved on to Newport County, then of League Two. Then he met George Lacobie whilst on loan at Leighton Orient in 2017 season. Most recent times then at Concord Rangers, and then he's just left Braintree Town to join Maidstone United. Losing out then Braintree in the playoffs last season. He arrives now at Maidstone, a 27-year-old Jamaican, and he plays in the forward line. And here's a clip then of Lamar Reynolds. then our second signing then well he comes in from an English attacking player can play in the front three and on the left wing which is his main position 25 years old let's welcome in Razak Coleman de Graft so joined Lewis in August 2021 for the Rooks and he plays in the Ismian Premier one division below Maidstone United Razak had a great campaign at Lewis since August 2021, scoring 21 goals, including a final day hat-trick in all competitions. Left-footed and also played for Tooting and Mitcham and Hampton and Richmond Borough. Right, so we've got, uh, I believe, 15 of his goals. There's three or f games that we couldn't catch up on highlights for. That was away at Brightling Sea region. November the 5th last year, also December 3rd last year away at Haringey Borough and then the final day's hat-trick last season then away at Canvey Island for Razak Coleman de Graft. All the rest are then, here is Razak Coleman's de Graft highlights, his goal highlight clips from the last couple of seasons then at Lewis. I hope you enjoy. Into the box, he tried to poke around his man and he's fallen for de Graft on his left foot! The effect of the win, the long ball falling for Coleman de Graft. What a goal! Moments after Odon Pinheiro almost did the same for Bognor. Snapping in to win the ball and it's fallen loose for Coleman de Graft onto his left and into the back of the net. He tried it moments ago. Coleman de Graft, it slowed up slightly. Michael Class, a lovely touch around the corner. 
Taylor, back to Michael Class, back to Joe Taylor, back to Coleman de Graft. What a goal by Lewis! That was an absolute beauty by the home side. Brilliantly to push up. He is Coleman de Graaf to his right, gives it to him onto his left, and what a finish from Raz Coleman de Graaf! Raz Coleman de Graaf for the first time onto that left foot. Can he get a shot away? Goes back to his right, fires it into the goal. Raz Coleman de Graaf with another worldie here at the pad. Here's Bradley Pritchard into Coleman de Graft. What a goal! Ross Coleman de Graft scores an absolute screamer. Left footed strike about 30 yards out. I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. Lewis Coleman de Graft. He's got Taylor Fisher's hands all over him, but he deals it well and stays on his feet. He'll try to get it on his left foot. What a goal! Razan Coleman de Graft scores another beauty for the Rooks. This time, it was a left-footed strike, side netting. Potential foul, but they carry on. Hyde through to Coleman de Graft. He takes it down nicely, tries to get on his left foot. What a goal! Razan Coleman de Graft scores another goal. Raz Coleman de Graft down the right-hand side. Up against the number three, and it's already in! And it's 1-0 already! Raz Coleman de Graft opens up the scoring in just two Deep minutes. into the Lewis half, and now they manage to get some the ball into a good area here. Here's Coleman de Graft up against the left back Ishmael. Coleman de Graft strikes it with his left and scores! Coleman de Graft getting into double figures in the last game at the Pan this season. A brilliant strike from outside the penalty area. He strikes it low to the goalkeeper's left and it just goes into that bottom right corner. Thank you for welcoming me. I'm going to give him my all, try my hardest and give my all to the club. Hopefully get promoted. Yeah, the third and final signing in just come in recently yesterday. Chai Ezen Nolim. Well, we'd left back then in from Welling United, the wings. Was their players player and fans player of the year just gone? He's 21 years old as well. Left back, but also loves to get forward. Joined the wings July 2021. 33 appearances. Runs out of contract and he turned down a new offer from Welling then to come to join Maidstone United. And he started out then with the Millwall under 18s. Here's a clip then of. Chi is a known on your screen, and uh, Chi has joined us um, most recently at Welling United, uh, where you were for uh, two seasons. How was that? Uh, how was that experience for you? Um, it was all right. It was all right, actually. I, enjoy I enjoyed my time there, but you know, I'm ready for a new, a new challenge. And again, last year, supporters' player of the year and players' player of the year. So you were clearly an influential figure at Parkview Road. Yeah, I, I, I guess so. You know, I just. You know, I tried my hardest on the field. Played, I tried to, you know, just give my all. So, and it paid off. So, left back by trade. You enjoy being part of that, uh, part of that defensive unit. Yeah, I like, you know, take. I just take pride in defending. You know, I enjoy getting into getting, getting stuck into tackles, but especially going forward as well. I enjoy going forward, carrying the ball up the pitch, and that's why I, you know, enjoy it the most when I'm in the final third. You got the chance to play against us on the, uh, I think it was the penultimate game of our championship winning season. Yeah. I think we all had a hangover that day because uh, <laughs> I think Welling might have uh, might have won that one. So you got to see the fans, you got to see some of the, yeah. uh, the the players at that point as well. But you're looking forward to coming here and being part of what uh, part of what we're planning this season. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, like I've seen, I've played against Maystone. The, the fans were mental. I was flares were going off, drums. So it will be it will be good. It will be good. You know, playing in front of all of them people. And just about the, the early part of your career, again, lots of great experience gained uh, during your time with Millwall. 
Yeah, Millwall was good. It was good. Um, I'll probably say that's where I really learned how to play left back properly. So, and then went to Welling, and then I kicked on in my second year, which was last season. And then uh, obviously the uh, gaffer got in contact with me, saying that he, you know, really enjoyed me and he really thinks that I can progress at Maidstone, you know, and then help the team either go for promotion next year. Well, a very warm welcome to Maidstone United. Hope you have a great season with Cheers, us. Cheers, thank you. And thank you then for watching Spiky Barmy Army TV. That's everything done. They're all caught cool up to date and we will update you as and when the next uh, players come in and whatever happens then at Maidstone United. Take care, peace out, and we'll see you soon. Spiky Barmy Army, take care now. Have a great time. See you in the upcoming season. Peace.